you know, Clyde is a loan officer like myself. So I, I'm assuming I know what he's trying to accomplish. He wants to follow up on leads wherever he gets them, whether it's, uh, yeah. you know, imported from somewhere or maybe client or, or agents are giving it to him, like real estate uh, referral partners, or he's generating himself. He just needs some sort of follow up to, 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 to the leads, the database, whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. I braided it as foo bots, as an F U B O T S. Uh, foo bots or F U bots because F U is in follow up. Right. Uh, right. It's made to be very simple. Like you can't really mess it up. Um, I have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, teammates, uh, virtual assistants and such. That Did I hear a know. challenge? Did I hear a challenge? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you can. I don't think you can mess it up. I guess we'll see. Maybe you can't mess it up. We'll see. But I have a lot of virtual assistants that, uh, <laughs> that I work with uh, who also work, work for my clients. And they they navigate the system pretty easy, okay. So I'm gonna screen share real quick. Cool. When you first log into FooBots, this is the first thing you see. Is this is like your dashboard, I guess you would call it, where you see your leads immediately, and you don't see all of them in one spot. And I know it's like, why mm-hmm. am I looking at ten leads on the front page? This looks really like not organized right and why is there six pages well I'll, I'll 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 make it even worse let me go ahead and log into uh i'm gonna log into a uh a referral partner of mine who who probably has more leads than i do uh, at least in the system Yes. Okay. Four hundred forty-three. So maybe not as much as me, but but the reason why I use him is because he's a referral partner that I generate a bunch of leads for on Facebook, but also he imported his own leads. Okay. And again, why would you um, why would you see it this way? Because this is not the important part. The important part is the campaigns, like what you're sending them, and where they're at on the campaign. So Pipeline has a pipe drive like view. I don't know if you know Pipe Drive at all. It's yeah. a very simple CRM. So you actually create your own pipelines. And I like this part right here because you can visually see where your data where your database or your leads are, right? So content yeah. based sent application denied, pre-qualified contract. Once it goes to, uh, under contract, I don't know about Clyde, but I'm assuming that once it goes under contract, he's there's no need for us to track it on the FooBots because now he has it in his L- LOS system. system. Yeah, it's in the system. Yeah. yeah. And that mm-hmm. that is a way more better, more robust, intricate CRM in itself. So basically this is launch. Contract is launched, right? And you put them in contract because that means you finalized it. That's basically what you, and then you can put it close here if you want right. to move them over to close, right? But once you get them in a contract, it's like the food boss job is done. You see what I'm saying? But in reality, the food boss job is just to get a conversation started. So when you have a lead come in right here, you're there's going to be campaigns that are being shot to them immediately, right? Through text messages uh-huh. and through emails. And the idea is to get them to respond however we can. They might be like, get me off your list. They might be like, who is this? They might be like, yeah, I'm not interested anymore. Or, hey, yes, I am interested. Whatever it is, that's all we want is a response, right? Because if it's not responding, then we don't know if it's a real person or not. We don't know if it's goodly. And if we don't want to waste Clyde's time or your time, I guess, I don't know, who, who, however you guys plan to approach it, but we don't want to waste your time calling these that we don't know if the contact information is even correct. You see what I'm saying? So the food boss is just to confirm that the contact information is correct, and then you focus your energy on the ones who respond, right? Now, of course, if you're bored, you have time, whatever, and you want to follow up on the leads that come in that haven't responded yet, you can. Foobots allows you to do that without messing anything up, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you an example of a campaign. So the reason why I like this, and I, I'm going to give you a really quick reason why I, I, I use this CRM. I had a lot of clients who were loan officers and real estate agents who did not know how to follow up. They just didn't, they got a lead and they didn't know what to do with it, right? I taught them how to build leads, build funnels, build Facebook ads. What I taught them all sorts of stuff. They would get leads from Zillow, whatever. They don't know what to do with it. So I was like, okay, this is what you do with it. Okay, you put them in a campaign. A campaign is a bucket, right? And you just basically shake them in the bucket until they answer. If they don't answer, you keep shaking it. 
right? That's all this is. Is, is that's what these campaigns are. So I'll give you an example of one that I built for him. Robots LZ. So this right here has 65% response rate, 23 full deals out of it, right? So what we did was we built an ad. The ad fed to this exact campaign, okay? So you click campaign. It Again, it, it gives you the – actually, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I want, I want you to look at the dashboard real quick because I want to kind of break it down a little bit because this might be information that Clyde cares about. It might not be something he cares about. But it shows you, like, uh, you know, the message – response rate to that message you see what i'm saying like when did it come in immediately what's the response rate what's the response rate two days after three months later we had some people respond three months after you see what i'm saying just to kind of show you the the the, the, the quality of the campaign and what the data is in, in terms of response rate so we have people who don't respond until 25 days later you see what i'm saying this is why we don't give up and that's why my food bots is designed to pummel them over and over and over and over relentlessly until they actually answer now, there is a, a majority that doesn't answer at all, and that's because it's either bad information, it's going to spam, or they blocked the number and we don't know it, right? If they blocked it and we don't know it, it's not, it's, it's not going to keep on bothering them. It's just we don't know that it's blocked, and, it, and the system is just not sending it to them unless we actually dig into, like, the actual analytics, right? But this just kind of gives you an idea of why it's important for us to constantly send messages and keep it going for as long as we can. Fubos has uh, up to 600 days where you can schedule, okay? For emails, for text messages, it's 100. And I'm going to show you all that, okay? But I just want to show you why this is kind of cool, right? If you if you care about that kind of stuff, right? So on the campaign, you have five options. You have the automated follow-up. You have the appointment reminders, reschedule follow-up, and settings. I don't even deal with these appointment settings, appointment reminders, and follow-up because I have my own calendar or whatever. But it's a cool little knickknack if you want to use that, right? What's important is the actually the automated follow-up and the settings. The automated follow-up is the actual meat, is the content, right? And look how simple this is, right? It tells you exactly what the message is or a preview, what kind of a message and when it's being sent. That's as simple as I can make it. You see what I'm saying? And if you want to add to it, it's really easy. Add new right here. Very easy. You click add new and you get to select. You want it to be an email, a text, a voicemail, or a task. Uh, let's say I want to make a text message, right? You click text message and it automatically populates what you need to put in just like a Facebook post, right? But you get to schedule it. When do you want it? When do you want to post same day, one day, 16 days after 98 days after you go up to hundred days. Okay. That's on text message. And then when you select what day you can select the time, what time do you want to send? Do you want to send it at 12 AM? Which of course we wouldn't do that. Uh, we actually have, I'll show you in another setting where there's a, there's a schedule where you, you put, do not send a message before or after this time, okay? Uh, but you can schedule whatever time you want. And then this gives you a few tags, first name for the lead, full name for you, first name for yourself, your phone number, the system phone number, not your actual cell number, but the phone number they would call that would actually lead to you or they can text back and you have a signature. And of course you're gonna book appointment. Again, if you wanna use that knickknack, right? And you literally just say, hey, this is Larry, the mortgage guy. I got your info from Facebook ads. You want to buy a house or not, right? And that's literally how quick I, I'm gonna put it immediately so you guys can see. And I'll put save, boom, it's added right there. That's how fast and easy you can create campaign messages. And this is the reason why I did this because I used to use Lion Desk, which was the most widely used CRM out there for a lot of real estate agents. And it was like, going through a, a, a technical exam just to create a campaign or create a, a, a some sort of follow-up. This one, you can just add new. Add new, I can click email. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna show you something, so how, how quick this is, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy the exact same message. I'm gonna go to um, add new, email, copy and paste, copy and paste, save, boom basically create an email message on that campaign in less than two, two, three uh, seconds. You see what I'm saying? That's how easy this is. You you can't mess this up, right? Even if you try to mess it up by sending the message too early or whatever, uh, the settings will uh, actually stop you from doing that. See this the search right here on the settings. You actually click what time setting you are and you actually click when you're allowed to send 
in the morning and when's the latest you can send. So I have 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. by default. You see what I'm saying, right? So um, in the pipeline, actually, that's actually the pipeline view that I showed you. You can make it so it sends on weekends or don't send on weekends. You can make it so it auto stops if they ever message you back, which I always recommend, okay? So like if you're sending a message, you know, a campaign to someone and they go, hi, it stops everything. And when I say stops everything, that means if you have 600 messages program and scheduled, it would delete all 600 messages. It will be no longer be be able to send to them unless you re-add them to the campaign. You see what I'm saying? But the 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 initial setup to get them on that campaign is going to be eliminated by the auto stop. Okay. Just to get a response, right? That's all we want is a response. Yeah. And it, it could be like who is this? Uh, uh, I'll call you back. Whatever, right? It will stop it automatically. You see what I'm saying? Because my idea, Clyde, is we just need to know if the information is correct, right? If the information is correct, then we can do our own follow-up or we can send it to our teammates to do it, right? We can, because, put, it, we can put them in home at that point. We can put them in, in to look absolutely, for, for, we can, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Because you're not going to... <laughs> let's say you get a, a thousand leads from a real estate agent, right? You're not going to sit there and actually do all the work to follow up every single lead or whatever. And I wouldn't cloud up my good CRM with a thousand leads. I would keep them in FUBOTS, which I consider like the gold digging, the gold digging bucket, right? This I'm sitting for gold in the dirt, right? Once I get a piece of gold, then I put it into my actual warehouse to actually start, you know, Curating it. Yeah, 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 refining yeah, it, really refining yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so this is just to give, make sure the data is correct, right? And basically to save you time, because that was the biggest complaint from my clients. Clyde was, I have too many leads. I don't have time to follow up. By the time I follow up with them, they, they're, you know, they, they're ignoring me or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, let's put them in the system. And you only call and text and email the people who actually respond back. That way, you know it's a real person, real phone number. You see what I'm saying? And it saved my clients a bunch of time and they were able to focus uh, their energy to li actual live leads, I guess you wouldn't call it, right? Um, so auto stop. Uh, hey, Clyde, is, is this like an email marketing or an email follow-up? So it's, it's like Sorry, email yeah. and text message follow-up. Like it would be for leads that get generated through uh, online campaigns. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. Well, that's, that's the main reason why I created it. Again, because I had, I was, I was coaching real estate agent loan officers on how to build funnels. And they were saying, your leads suck, Larry. I'm like, no, you suck at follow-up. That's why the leads are not converting. Because I had agents who were converting. And I was like, okay, so these agents are converting, but you're not. So it's not the leads. There's there's a there's a missing component here. And I found out the, the agents who were converting were the ones who were aggressive with follow-up or they had their own follow-up system or whatever. So I was like, okay, you know what? I need to build it. And Clyde, this is what frustrated me when I first joined Break Free Academy and I started following Ryan. I was like, what do I do with these leads? I don't know what to do with these leads because it, nothing was happening. So whenever I found out the the agents were the ones converting, they were converting because they had a follow-up system. So, that, so that's basically why I, I built this system. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is where you can actually change everything. You can change, uh, you know, uh, again, you can make it auto stop. Force call means if so a lead comes in, like let's say through Facebook, then you actually get a phone call, meaning uh, whoever is on the line. So maybe it's you, Omar, but you'll get a phone call saying, hey, Omar, you just got a new lead. If you want to connect with them, click one and it will actually dial the lead right away. Right. But if you don't want that, then you just click this off. Right. And this is the phone number that the leads will be sent to. So uh, in this place, is Justin. So this is actual cell number. So if a lead comes in, it will actually call his phone, say, hey, Justin, want to let you know you have a new lead. Do you want to go ahead and whatever? And he press one, he can call it. If he doesn't have time or he, he, he doesn't pick up, then it just it just acts if, as if nothing happened. It's just a notification. Is that going to be Clyde's number? Or? It depends on how you guys want to set it up. I mean, if, if, if Clyde wants you to do all the follow-up, then it would be your number, right? But uh, it actually would probably go to Clyde's number because it actually ha it has to actually be a cell number. It can't be like a, a VPN number, whatever, or a Google voice number. It has to be an actual cell number. So it uh, more than, so more than likely it'll go to Clyde. But we again, you don't have to use that feature. It's just an option so that you know you get called when the lead does come in. 
right? Uh, you can also record calls, which I don't have turned on, you know, but that's something that you can do if you want to. Okay. Uh, you can actually set it up so that every uh, each campaign gets multiple uh, notifications. So in this case, it would be Justin getting it, but then I can maybe add myself here if I want to keep track of his leads, if I have a teammate, right? So in this case, Clive would get a, a notification and you would get your email will be here too. So you get a notification when a lead comes in and, and, and then a lead uh, responds back. Okay. And of course you can, delete, you can delete the campaign and you can set appointments here. Right. So um, again, I don't use these features, but you can, if you want to do appointment reminders and reschedule follow-up, just kind of gives you a little bit more data. But to me, it's all about just sending the leads into here and then getting them to follow up, you know, getting them to answer. That way you can decide who's real, who's not, right? So that's basically how you build the campaign. Um, there's nothing else really to show you because, I mean, it's really simple, right? Um, so I'll give you an example of this lead here. So this lead... Is okay. this going to be connected to any calendar, like for a reminder or anything? No, there's no reminders. There's really no need for reminders because all you do is you're just trying to get these people to respond, right? Now, if you want to, if you want to keep notes, you can always keep notes in here, and then you can you can put a rescheduled sequence right here, and then you can also uh, tag them as well and put create appointments and tasks for each person, right? But that's all internal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it has showed me the opportunity to connect to, like, uh, I think Microsoft, but I've never been able to achieve it, so I've never used it. But, like, you can actually uh, create an appointment and actually create an appointment, and then when you go to here, you'll see all your appointments or follow-ups or tasks. You see? But it's all internal. Uh, again, uh, I think I think there's a way you can connect it to like a Microsoft Outlook calendar, but I've never done it before. But yeah, if you like I said, if you have a particular lead, let's say I talked to yeah, because because maybe someone would like um ask me to like, hey, I I got an appointment. I I want an appointment on this day. All right. Yeah, so that's why I like I said, you know, let's say I'm talking to this guy Amos, right, or Amos, right, and he says, "Hey, can you call me tomorrow?" I go, "Okay, no problem. I'm gonna create an appointment right here, and I'm gonna set it up for tomorrow, right, and I'm gonna set it up for ten a ten forty five a.m. and eleven a.m. because that's around our time. Create the appointment. So when you once you confirm it, right, then you can go like you know I would recommend anyone who's going into the CRM to always click their appointment calendar." Right, and click their appointments or click their um their tasks, right? So in this case, I have an appointment right here, as you can see, Amos. Right. So let's say I'm 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 managing like I don't know over a hundred leads at one point. This might get kind of confusing, so I just add them on as appointments or tasks, and it actually leads leads to the person, right? So I can just click here and it'll go straight to the person's profile, and then I'll get all my notes right here on the right, and then I'll be able to you know handle the conversation. Now, one of my favorite parts about this, uh, actually, I'm going to show you the task part, and then I'll show you the next part, my favorite part. When you go to add tasks, same concept, right? Let's say I want to do it tomorrow. Uh, let's let's make it 9 a.m. Uh, I'm going to say uh, read notes for Amos to prepare for phone call. So I have the appointment to talk to him uh, at 1045, but I made a note for at 9 a.m. to remind me to read the notes. So I'm going to add that. So again, every single t every single morning, I log into my CRM Fubot. I'm gonna check my calendar to see what's going on today or tomorrow, whatever, and then I'm gonna check my task. It says read notes, right, right here, due date today. So I click that, and it opens up automatically my the client, and I can read everything here. Okay. Now, what what I was about to say was my, one of my favorite parts about the way Fubots works is. Whenever I'm conversation with these people, I can see if it's a text or email. So I sent this via email. I sent this via text, and they replied via text, right? But it's all in the same place. So I I can I can see both my emails and text messages in the same one. That's why the emails and text messages are designed to be simple, because we want to be able to read it easily on this kind of dashboard, right? So 
when they send it via text, then I respond via text by toggling here. See, I can toggle through, e I can make it an email, I can make a text right here with the, just a click of a button. Okay. So, like, let's say, uh, you know, let's say I haven't talked to Amos in a while, right? And I send him a text like, hey, you know, I'm not going to do it in real time, but hey, Amos, how are you? Right. And let's say I send that message, right? And it's about two hours and he doesn't respond, respond back. Then I might go back to him and I might go to email, right? Hey, Amos. Oh, so you could choose from text and email. Yes. Very, and right, right, right there. That's how quick and easy it is. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Because when you, when you use other programs, you have to, you have to like log, you have to like get out of the text message part and you have to click the email <laughs> part. And, and it's really, and, and the email part makes you like type in all the email and stuff. No, why would you do that? Right. Just, just do it this way. Right. Stressful. <laughs> yeah. So, Hey, Amos, I sent you a text earlier. Did you get it? And then I just, Press send. And now I, I basically send on the same dashboard and I can see if it's a text or an email. See? And you don't see it right now. You know, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'm gonna demonstrate to you how easy it is to add someone to a campaign. Okay. So let me go to yeah, the campaign. That, here. That's what it's supposed to be asking you. How how would we be adding people in the campaign? <laughs> well, there's two ways. Okay. There's two ways of doing it. Now, let's say you're adding an individual. Uh, and this is all manual automated. That's a totally different conversation. Okay. Like if you're having like Facebook, send it to this, that's something that I would have to sit down with you guys on another call. Okay. But let's say it's, you're already in the, already in the CRM and you're trying to, you're trying to add someone right now. Okay. So, robots, so this is manual, manual right now. Yes. Yes. Manual. Right. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, um, uh, well, actually I, I, I see this all done. So I go to leads. And I go to add, uh, I go, where is it? Add new lead right here. See? And then I'm going to add myself. And then you select the campaign here. This is my favorite part, right? I can literally see all the campaigns in one city, right? So let's say I have a campaign for um, a listing appointment or a campaign for an applicant, or maybe I have four different campaigns, one for a VA loan, one for a USDA loan, one for an FHA loan, and one for uh, a bank statement loan, right? You have a campaign for each one of those people. You see what I'm saying? So like, you know, let's say Clyde says, hey, can you please add this person? He's a veteran. So you select the VA loan campaign. You see what I'm saying? And it, it personalizes the, the message to that person, whatever it is you write. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to put robots, right? Uh, and then I want to go and schedule it. And I press create. And it automatically creates, it creates my profile right here. Like you saw Amos, remember? But it's all blank, right? Uh -huh. So I'm going to put a tag. Add it manually, right? Uh, notes, veteran, right? And I haven't talked to him, so I don't have any appointments or tasks. Uh, so I'm waiting for them to respond because I just sent them. I just added them to this. So basically, I triggered the campaign, right? This is the campaign. You uh -huh. see how it says 33 messages right here? Yeah. When you click it, it shows it to you. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it tells you when it's going to happen. This is set a few seconds ago. So it's basically saying my, my cell phone number should have gotten a text message by this time, right? Um, are and are then, we also going to be able to like, uh, just a, a question, are, are, are we going to be able to like do a bulk import if ever like we have an Excel? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that next. Nice. Okay. So you see how it says an hour. This is telling me, a few seconds ago, a few seconds ago, a few seconds ago. And, you know, it hasn't shown all the information, but eventually it'll tell you it's a text message or an email, right? Um, see, a few seconds ago. And then it says an hour after. That means it's going to send you, it's going to send on June 2nd. You see how when I highlight there's a box shows up, right? Uh -huh. That's telling you exactly when it's going to, sh when it's, when it's going to set. June 2nd, uh -huh. right? 1243. This is going to be June 5th, 5 p.m. Uh, this is going to be, and there you go. See, it's going to start, it starts showing you the actual timestamps, right? See, and this is 
future messages. This is not. This hasn't been sent yet. Oh, right? okay. yeah. So when I hide it, I, I, there's nothing been sent. You see that? See. Um, and the reason why nothing been sent because I actually de deactivated this account. Okay, so that's why you don't see any message being sent because nothing really got sent yet. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like if this is if this is yeah. an active account, it would actually show, hey Larry, whatever, whatever, whatever. But because I I deactivated Justin's account, um, nothing got sent. So that's why there's no record of anything being sent. But you would have you already seen you don't you would have already seen like these messages being sent here, and these will be in blue. See. Like here, are are those gonna be like? Are we gonna be able to like edit those or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you go to campaigns, right? And mm -hmm. let's say you let's say and I, I'm gonna give you guys like fifty campaigns, okay? Like, let me see how, how many campaigns is in this one. Okay, this guy has 33, 34 campaigns. So I'll send you at least thirty to oh. thirty campaigns plus, okay? <laughs> um, but if you want to edit it, you go to Automated follow up, and you actually go in here, you click it, and you actually edit it right there. Uh, there. See how easy that is? It's like it's a no brainer, right? Let me edit this one. Okay. What is it? This is like a can can notes or can email and can text messages yep. for them. That's what this is. Yeah, and it tells you when to send it. See, so uh, you, when I add a new one, I can put email. I want to send the same day. I can tell say what time, right? Uh, Two or ten minutes after it's sent, and then there you go. Press save, and boom, it's saved right there. See, it's like a, this is a bump to my last message too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you're asking about bulk upload, right? Yeah, bulk upload, if ever. So you go here, add new, import CSV file. You add the CSV, you select the campaign, just like you add, how we manually added a person, but now you're adding a whole CSV, right? Got it. So it, it should be a CSV file. It has to be a CSV file, yes. And you only need five pieces of data. First name, last name, phone number, email, and notes, whatever your notes are going to be. Again, FUBOS made to be simple. Nothing complicated about it. Right. First name, <laughs> last name, phone number, email, and notes, whatever you want the notes to be. The notes could be Zillow leads, or the notes could be uh, uh, leads from Jane, the realtor, whatever in Georgia, right? And then you could tag it right here again. Still leads, referral leads from Jane, the realtor in Georgia. See, easy. You have to agree to the terms and conditions. Make sure because you know you're doing something kind of big deal. You press continue, and then it's going to make you map it. Like name, name, first name, first name, uh, phone number, uh -huh. phone number, whatever. And then you press send, and it automatically sends it all. You have to be careful, though, because I I created this for a bunch of loan officers to follow up. <laughs> and one loan officer sent it to 10,000 people. Oh. And his phone his phone wouldn't stop ringing. He had to, he had to basically change his phone number. Um, because his phone just, well, actually, no, he didn't change his phone number. He turned off his phone and he started using his, he used a new phone number to, to, to do business. With, with, a, with a bulk upload, we have to rename the, what do you got, the, the columns or yeah, the, the rows? Yeah. No, you don't have to because you just have to know, you know what I'm saying? Here, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, I don't, I don't know if I have a CSV here. Yeah, I guess some CRMs needs, you know. Changing it, the names. It's, it's not that sensitive. No, it, it, as long as you can <laughs> can map it, right? Meaning, like, it's going to show you the row. You, you, you just need to map it. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just about mapping. Like you know, like like it's kind of sometimes some of it's obvious, right? Like the first first column is going to be name. Well, you look at the data points, and the first data point is, you know, John. Like, okay, well, that's definitely that's definitely the name the column. You know, mostly they were able to be. First name, last name, and then phone number, email. Yeah. So I am going to upload. I'm not going to launch it. I'm just going to show you what I did, right? So I yeah. just put a CSV in there. There's, fit, there's fit, uh, 50 names on there, okay? Press continue. See? This is what...
the first row is, right? This is a preview of the rest of the rows. Pretty obvious. First name, last name, email, phone number, whatever, date, right? Oh, okay. So then you select it. First name. See? Check. Last name. Email. Phone number. Uh, it just depends on how you map it. And then don't import the rest of it. Like all this, I don't need imported. And then you press continue. And you, when you press continue, that's when it launches. That's why I'm not going to press it. Okay. But yeah, that's basically how it works. So if I press continue, then that campaign that you Got saw it. me build, <laughs> it's going to be sent to those 50 people. And again, yeah. that's that's why a loan officer sent 10,000 with, with no effort. <laughs> that's how easy it was. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Yeah, he said he had to. I, I, he said he had to turn off his phone. I, I forgot what he, what he said, but he basically said my phone became useless. I, oh, you know what? It was his, it was his uh, assistant who did it, um, who 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 uploaded ten thousand because they didn't realize how how fast it would respond. But you know, it, it literally like ten thousand people. That's a lot. Of people. The most I recommend the most is maybe two hundred, but I would go for a hundred at a time. But you notice on my my C CSV, I only had fifty, right? So that, I would. That, that so it, it sends like text and email whatever whatever you set up ah. whatever you, whatever you set up now let me show you how easy it is omar to just start one okay let's pretend you just want to make a brand new one from scratch add new you can actually start from scratch or you can duplicate one that's already made and that's why i give you the campaigns okay i give the campaigns so that you have sort of a, a control or a, a a hard copy of the original and then you can change that one. You see what I'm saying? So when I press duplicate, I actually can select any of the campaigns that I already get. And I'm going to give you all of them. Okay. So I can select an old campaign. So part of the homework is to look at all the campaigns and decide which one I like. You see what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and then you select it and that it's going to make a duplicate of that one. Okay. But I'm not going to make a duplicate. I'm, I'm going to do a brand new one. Okay. Because I want you to see how e e easy it is to start from scratch. So add new, start from scratch. I want to call this. Uh, Omar and Clyde, brand new, right? Time zone, we're gonna make it. Uh, I think Clyde is east, so New York. Uh, we, I don't need to call, press create. Now it's gonna ask me to create the follow up messages, okay? Uh, email number one, I want to send it immediately. Hi, it's Omar and Clyde. Do you want to buy a house? Boom. Less than two seconds, I created first message. That's email. I'm going to add a text message now. Same thing, same day, same time. Hey, do you want to buy a house? Boom. That's what two seconds, right? First message. Wow. I'm going to add a new one. Let's do an email. Let's go and do one uh, one day after, right? Uh, we'll do it uh, around 8 a.m. Message. Boom. Second message, done. One day after. That's email. Let me add another text real quick. <clears throat> one day after uh, let's make it uh that was eight o'clock so let's make it 8 30 so we don't bother them too much boom done five five camp five missed campaign already created in less than a minute uh, yeah i guess before i had to like build out polio accounts for the clients <sighs> a lot of work how, yeah you see how easy this <laughs> you see how easy this is it is I mean, all built out already so yeah it's all built oh, out <laughs> and you can change it. You can, you can go back and change it. I mean, I can be like, you know what? Eh, I think I don't like it. I think it's too early. Let me go and change it to a, uh, I'm going to change it to eight, uh, nine, nine AM. Boom. Done. It all automatically saves it for you. That's how easy it is. Right. I mean, I remember it was like pulling teeth to try to edit one message on like a line desk campaign. Oh Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, see, this this is all, this makes sense to me, right? And that's what I mean. You can't really mess it up. I mean, loan officers, real estate agents, they're just not they're not tech savvy, the way some of us are, right? You can't mess this up. So, I know, I won't, because <laughs> I so, have to build out like like accounts from Podio accounts or Podio CRM from scratch. Whoa, man, <laughs> stressful. Yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, 
It shouldn't be. This is all built out. Mm -hmm. All good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, second thing I want to show you, I actually have training videos on how to use this. Yep, that's what I'm going to need. I just need to, like, watch it. Mm -hmm. So...